And then Wyoming is going against Oregon today. Talking with Willie Taggart this week. Healthy respect for Josh Allen, but certainly feeling good about the way his team has gotten out of the gate in the first two games. And now an opportunity to go to that high altitude. Oregon opted not to train at altitude. Started to change their mind late. If you're not familiar with Josh Allen, here he is. 6'5", 240 pounds, number three prospect on Kuiper's big board. Now the easy comparison for him is the Eagles' Carson Wentz. They're similarly sized guys, both from schools outside the Power Five. Both played for Craig Bowl, running similar offenses. Gene Wojciechowski joins us now. Uh, Gino, this Cowboy had to blaze his own trail to prominence. You know, Reese, they've got a great quarterback here at Louisville with Mark Jackson. But at Wyoming, they love Josh Allen. Josh Allen came this close to declaring for the NFL draft. In fact, he did talk to Carson Wentz about his decision. He went to bed one night saying, I'm gone. Woke up the next day, changed his mind, and Wyoming is thrilled. But the amazing part of his football journey is that he's even in this position. Here on the high range of Wyoming, where the views and altitude can take your breath away. Is that the best quarterback nobody wanted? Come on, we need it. Is hard at work. Is that? Hi, babe. That... For the first time you saw him throw the ball, what'd you think? Well, I was my quarterback back then, so I thought I'm in trouble. <laughs> I think he threw it 80 yards, honestly. And we all were like, okay. <laughs> Never seen that before. Back by the 50. And now he'll throw and show you the arm strength. Back to the end zone. Touchdown! The arm strength of Josh Allen. That's a hose. What's the longest you've ever thrown one? Well, we can find out right now, actually. All right, so. let's do it. All right. I'm going to put both cheeks into this one. All right. <laughs> oh, that's just obscene. Allen has always had a big arm, except nobody ever saw it. He grew up a farm boy in a 3,000-acre spread near Firebaugh, California. Population, 8,500. It's the capital of cantaloupes, not quarterbacks. You know, I helped move irrigation pipes, um, drove tractors and just fields, weeded cotton, weeded cantaloupe. It wasn't fun being that hot in the summer, 105, 110 degrees most of the time, and having to wear a long sleeve because anytime you touch the irrigation pipe, your, your skin would burn. But you know, it really established a work ethic in me. I think that's why Josh developed into the player that he did, because he didn't have a lot of the distractions that, that he would have had living in a larger town or a big city. Allen was a multi-sport star in Firebaugh, and his local nickname was Hollywood. But to college recruiters, you've always heard this recruiter talk about, he's a five-star, he's a four-star, three-star. What were you your senior year of high school? I didn't have any stars, so I was a no-star, no-offer guy out of high school. Josh was zero. He had zero stars. I sent emails every day to almost every coach in the nation. Please, please just offer me. All I was asking was for is an opportunity. And I really never heard back from anybody. Plan B was an obscure junior college in Reedley, California, where Allen sat the bench before finally getting his chance. He still received rejection notices from FBS programs until one wonderful day in late 2014. I can remember flying in and walking in uh, to their home, looking them in the eye and telling Josh, uh, we've been all over the country, you're the guy we want. And your son is going to be the face of our program for the next three years. And I, here I'm getting kind of teary-eyed thinking about it now. Wyoming was the only FBS program to offer Allen a no-strings-attached scholarship. Allen, who became the Cowboys' full-time starter last season, will never forget what Wyoming did. It's a Cowboy touchdown. Another amazing play by Allen. And what other programs didn't do. Last year was very apparent. You know, I don't like you. I don't like your program. You know, you never offered me. You didn't find me. So when I step on the field, like, I'm trying to embarrass your team. 
he sees himself as a great quarterback, and that's one of the things I think that has uh, given him his trajectory. Allen has gone from a no-star to a no-brainer NFL draft prospect, and he's found happiness and a home 7,220 feet above sea level. If all those schools that you sent those emails had a mulligan, could do it all over again, how do you think it would be different this time? I really don't know, but I wouldn't go back. I wouldn't change anything. You know, we talked to some players before the season started, and we showed them a photo of Josh Allen in his uniform, and we said, do you know who this is? And almost nobody knew who he was. In fact, one star player said, he looks like a guy who works in a fast food restaurant. I told Josh about that player in his comments, and he kind of smiled through gritted teeth, Reese, but you could tell it was another thing of motivation for him. The power of the chip on the shoulder, Gene. Everybody's right going to know him. He, he's not going to have to give anybody fries with that <laughs> yes. coming up in just a little while. And what an example in this world of five-star world. Yeah. A zero-star player yeah. ends up becoming maybe the first pick in the draft because of the want, the heart, the desire, the dream. He just, Love he just kept pushing. Love it. Yep. It's awesome. A lot of the NFL guys were telling me he's going to be the guy, whether he is or he isn't, almost certain to be a first-rounder, an opportunity to play Great in kid. the NFL next year. College game day from Louisville this morning and old Nick Sheridan.